17th of March 2017, um, our hip-hop team had just won a bid to compete at the World Championships in Disney, Florida. Um, that was about 11 o'clock in the evening, we found out, and we were celebrating. And then we got a phone call to say that um, the building was on fire. And then about half past 12, we learned that the building had completely gone, um, which was completely devastating. And um, basically, I'd invested pretty much my life savings in it. Um, we didn't get as the insurance payout that we should have done. So we lost a lot. We lost everything. But we was lucky because um, there was our local cheer community and one of our mums set up a GoFundMe page and they raised £6,000, which managed to buy us the mats the chair mats that we needed to set back up again so we bought the chair mats and two local schools because we've always worked in the community and i've always worked in the schools so um all saints catholic college uh, where i used to teach uh, gcse dance um they stepped up to the mark and they let us hire their facility and also silver springs where we've been training from for quite some time where we started originally um helped us and we um, used their space as well. So we used Silver Springs for dance and we used All Saints for cheer, which we've continued to do for the past um, three years and try and build the business back up again. We did go to Worlds, we did compete. And the following season, we won three world bids with our junior hip-hop team, our co-ed hip-hop team, our senior hip-hop team to go and compete at Worlds the year after. We had two athletes who were successful and made it to Team England Pom Dance team. Uh, we've had six dancers who have made it to Team England Hip Hop Dancers and we picked um, the post and we won the big cheerleading competition in Bournemouth um, with our cheerleading senior two. So we won an international title in the cheerleading as well. So. It didn't stop us. We continued um, to keep going. And then we was just sort of like getting back on our feet, getting a little bit more established. Things had settled down a little bit, you know, like paperwork, admin. Um, we, we just, it was things like, because we'd lost everything, we'd lost like all of database, we'd lost music because everything was in the fire. We'd lost poms for pom routines, we'd lost, I'd literally lost like all my pictures of my family, um, everything that you would have in an attic at home, like Christmas decorations, everything like that. We had to sort of like rebuild everything. And that's what we've like kind of been doing. And we've been still su really successful at competitions, still competing. And then unfortunately COVID hit, which has, um, which has hit not only myself hard, but our athletes hard as well. So we've been doing Zoom, continuing to do Zoom. We've done uh, courses with British Red Cross, with NES. We also run our own in-house development programme for coaches as well. So we have a, a volunteer um, programme for development coaches, which takes them through from volunteering and we put them through credentials and pay for them to go through um, the, and they actually do become their own coaching staff. All my coaching staff that have at Tycoons have literally been athletes that I've had since they were 12 and they're now 26. Some of them competed at Worlds. We started off with just nine of us and now there's, I think we have about 100 and around 150 members, I think, now. But uh, we've definitely, you know, we've definitely had obstacles and um, things to get and things to get over. But yeah, we've been going 50, we started as a community project through um, School Sport Partnership. I used to be the dance development officer for Tameside. And this was a little project that started with the um, Tameside Sports Partnership which has grown into this. So we're really proud of it. And uh, we're hoping that um, with Tycoon's All Stars, with the dance and the cheerleading, we'll continue to, to grow and, and continue to provide an excellent provision for cheerleading and dance and continue to hopefully compete at Worlds next next year um, with our teams and hopefully keep our title as international champions for cheerleading at the Bournemouth competition.